How can you write an expression which represents the surface area of a rectangular prism? In this lesson, you will learn how to write and interpret complex expressions by analyzing their component parts. Area is the amount of space inside a flat, two-dimensional shape. We measure area in square units. For example, if this rectangle measures two units by six units, we can divide the shape into squares which measure one unit by one unit. Each of these squares represents one square unit. The total area of the rectangle is 2 times 6, or 12 square units. Surface area measures the total area of all the two-dimensional surfaces which cover a three-dimensional object. If we wanted to know the surface area of this six-sided die, we would need to find the sum of the areas of these six squares which make up the surfaces of the die. When writing expressions that describe geometric objects, it's important not to be confused by formulas that you might remember using in the past. Suppose we want to find the surface area of this cube. If we try to use the formula L times W times H, we're on the wrong track. That's a volume formula. Well, how about the formula X cubed? Now, that won't help find surface area. That's another volume formula. So maybe the formula 2L plus 2W. No, that's a formula for parameter of a rectangle. The thing to remember is that while formulas are really useful, we've got to be careful not to use them unless we're certain that we're using them correctly. Let's write an expression for the surface area of this rectangular prism. First, we'll identify the visible surfaces that the prism contains. We can see that the prism has a front, and we can also see a top surface, and we can see a side over on the right. But there are also three surfaces that we can't see. There's a back, there's a bottom, and there's another side on the left. Our next step is to describe the size of the prism. Since we don't know the values for any of the prism's three dimensions, we'll just label them with variables. So L for length, W for width, and H for height. Now we'll look at the area of each of the rectangular surfaces on the prism. In terms of L, W, and H, the front and the back have dimensions H by L, giving an area of L times H. The top and bottom have dimensions W by L, giving an area of L times W. And the sides have dimensions H by W, giving an area of H times W. Now we're ready to find surface area. Each of the individual areas we've found so far are really only for one side of the prism. Each of these areas will need to be doubled because there are two of each of these shapes. There's a front and a back. There's a top and a bottom. There's a left side and a right side. So this gives us our expression for surface area, 2LH plus 2LW plus 2HW. Let's look at one more example. What's the surface area of a cylinder that has a radius of 3 centimeters and a height of 5 centimeters if the surface area can be found by using the expression 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h? In this expression, r is the radius of the circular bases, and h is the height of the cylinder. To evaluate the expression, we'll substitute 3 for r, and 5 for h, and then we'll use order of operations to simplify. So we can say that the surface area of the cylinder is 48 pi square centimeters. In this lesson, you have learned how to write and interpret complex expressions by analyzing their component parts.